This is Anna Kurth with the Hibbing Daily Tribune, reporting from the Hibbing Public Library, where artwork recently installed tells the story of the town's history, architecture, and culture in glasswork by Duluth artist Ron Benson, who creates his artwork by carving clay tiles and then melting glass over the top. So what do you have, um, what did you have installed this week at the library? We've got this new artwork by Ron Benson. He's a glass sculptor and we've got this section here that's on the outside wall that hopefully you can tell right away that it looks like books on shelves and I'm very excited about that. It stands out from a long way away. And then more subtly above the doors we have these storybooks and, they, and they, they are all pictures of things to do with Hibbing history and culture. So we've got storytelling at the library in modern days and we've got Indian storytelling from back in the history. We've got the guy trying to use his compass and he can't find north because of all the iron pulling on his compass. Uh, we've got pictures of mining, the high school, Bob Dylan and his house, transportation things with the train and we've got the Greyhound bus in front of the memorial building, logging, car racing, in Indians gathering rice, settlers breaking ground in their fields, pushing your car out of the snow on Howard Street, the Android, boxing, baseball, got a couple more mind view things. We've got Frank Hibbing looking out over the mines. We've got mining equipment. This was done with money through the Arrowhead Library System, the Minnesota Cultural Fund. We call it the legacy money. We use it for programming at our library and all the libraries in the region and all library systems in the state got that money.